Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews I'm Farhad if you're new to this channel then please smash that subscribe button now and we are only about 63 subscribers away from the 1.3k mark the new goal of our channel so if you're new please smash that subscribe button and like the video so the film that we are going to be talking about today is the new Malayalam film Mahavir Yar which is you know premiered on the OTT platform Sun Next now going into this film and I am a you know a fan of Malayalam films everyone knows that but going into this film I had a couple of questions you know why was a film which had a theatrical release in you know July 2022 making its way to the OTT platform Sun Next you know and that too way after its a theatrical release these were the two questions that I had and as I you know ventured and discovered this drama a little more I got to understand the reason behind the same which I also will be discussing in this mild spoiler filled review so here we go is Mahaviryar worth your time let's find out firstly Mahaviryar is a you can say a courtroom drama with a bit of time travel in it. This is just a two-liner non-spoiler story that I can actually say from the onset. This is because the story is absolutely zany, crazy, absurd and one of the most unique courtroom dramas that I have actually been privy to and I am not even exaggerating. This, why does it make it unique is because it, you know, has a sharp commentary on the times that we live in today. And that is one of the reasons why some of the OTT platforms may not have purchased this gem. You know, it may not have purchased this gem and uh, it took a while, you know, to even crack an OTT deal. This is because, you know, there is no middle ground for this film. Either you will absolutely love the film or you will absolutely hate the film. You know, it's that much, that much of a deviation. And I happen to absolutely adore, absolutely love this film. It was outstanding. Thank you so much uh, for a couple of my subscribers, Abrishar and, uh, you know, Ratul, uh, who is, you know, recommended this film uh, to me. You know, it's premiering on Sun Next. Um, Coming to the screenplay, it stands at a shade above two hours and uh, it does pack in so much that it, you know, it. I had to allow it time to settle in before, you know, you know, venturing into penning my review. It was that, uh, you know, um, uh, how do I say, it was that, uh, that much content was there in it and it was almost um, overwhelming to consume so many things at the same time. Now the drama here, uh, it opens in the 18th century wherein a king, you know, he's suffering from hiccups and uh, he has to frequently because of that make uh, his way to the washroom and that's why, uh, you know, he cannot find uh, sound sleep. And a remedy for that is that he needs to, you know, uh, he needs to find somebody who's more beautiful and sleep with her, you know, it's like that, it was that zany. The real reason is revealed a little later, which I'll keep it under wraps, not in this video, I won't reveal it. But uh, this was the setup that was there, which was kind of absurd and it was hilarious. Um, cut to, cut to, you are introduced to the hermit in uh, the modern day setup in 2020. You are introduced to the hermit. Hermit is a sort of a priest who stays lonely. And he's accused of stealing idols from a nearby local temple. And so there's a court case that unfolds, you know, uh, initially the court case, there are multiple court cases that are, uh, you know, unfolding. One features the, uh, the alumni money, al alimony money between the husband and the wife and the husband does pay the wife, you know, 24,000 in coins and that was hilarious. There was another harassment case as well and then this hermit case that is there and here this particular part you know it almost uh, unfolds like a quirky comedy and it uh, does you know uh, explain uh, how fickle minded people are and they do not want to look inside themselves before pointing fingers at others and that is something that was explored here in which the temple authorities were actually you know extracting money from the temple funds um, illegally illegally and uh, that was you know caught by the hermit and still they were pointing fingers at the hermit 
you know, stealing the idols from the temple. And that was the uh, variation that was there, that was the double standards that was there. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is one of those dramas that you actually need to, you know, watch it with an open mind. And that is because you can, you do not question the drama as to how did things happen? Why did these things happen? Because at the interval block, there's a time travel where the two worlds meet, you know, the two worlds converge. The 18th century and the modern day setup, they converge. And so here, uh, there's no logical reasoning provided as to how it happens. It happens through the hermit who, you know, incites, invokes a time travel. That's all that is said. And that is something that, uh, you know, you need to just accept it the way because accept it the way it is because there are Easter eggs to be had in the second half. The second half here is a sharp commentary on, you know, the uh, the court the courtroom and the authorities and the people in power, all that, it's like a, a large, so to say, a take, um, the modern day take or the modern day issues that are discussed in that. To give you a perspective, you know, um, the king here who is accused of, you know, kidnapping a, a beautiful uh, woman, you know, um, there are witnesses who come to speak against the unruly kidnapping of uh, the young woman. But each, you know, uh, witness is shot down by, you know, uh, the uh, is shot down by the court authorities, you know, despite having evidence uh, in court against the king, they just do not want to buy that. And uh, that is testimony of the today's times, which may, well may be testimony of today's times. I cannot be sure, uh, but, you know, if there are, you know, people going through that, it possibly is a commentary on that. And so here, um, uh, it just shows one thing, you know, if uh, you, uh, ha there are two things here. If patriarchy and uh, autocracy are, you know, discussing things, then women and uh, justice, they take a back seat. And that is something that is shown here. Even, uh, you know, small angle of consent is also thrown in, which does make a lot of sense. But the events leading up to the final act, you know, they make for a very absurd and a very different kind of a feeling that I had. Um, firstly, you know, the victim who's played by the woman, she's stripped off naked in front of the court, you know, which is almost an allegory for stripping off her respect. Uh, respect is being the key word here. And uh, uh, it also does provide, you know, solutions, you know, like um, all the men are looking at her, but then slowly there are certain things that happen and it ends in a certain way, which makes you, which the writers want to make you realize whether this can be the right approach as well. And it makes you think in a very interesting, uh, uh, in interesting allegory. Also, the king, you know, is facing the justice statue that is there, which is like a lovely little oxymoron that is introduced in the screenplay that is very well written. I think the ending also, you know, uh, the entire hermit angle, you get to know that uh, he's just a person who's moving from uh, a path of incompleteness to completeness. Uh, as per me, I feel that that character is the character of time. And, uh, you know, that's how he time travels. So time here is represented by a person and he hopes that, you know, humanity learns from his previous uh, self, but then humanity doesn't learn, you know, as time unfolds, you still land up with the same situation with the same set of mistakes. And that, you know, sums up the screenplay that is very well written, it will make you chuckle at times, it will make you think and it's a very well written screenplay coming to the technical aspects, the dialogues, music and the direction. Um, I think, um, you know, the dialogues are very sharp and very well written. The music and the BGM go superbly with the drama. The cinematography and editing are sharp. Director Shine, uh, his name is Shine, uh, he does a fabulous job here, you know, in uh, uh, setting up a drama with a very strong social commentary and uh, it making it one of the most unique and memorable uh, movie watching experiences for me this year and uh, this film by the way would have featured in my top Malayalam films of 2022 hands down it would have it is that good 
uh, too bad I am watching it a year later, months later rather in Feb 23. Coming to the performances, I felt the performances are outstanding. I think Lal as the king is fabulous. Siddiqui as the judge is earnest and he makes for a very absurd kind of a role which is enacted very well. Um, I also felt that Nivin Pauly, his character could have so easily gone overboard but then you know he's so well restrained and you know his words of wisdom time and again are wonderful to you know witness. Uh, also Asif Ali expresses beautifully through his eyes. But the pick of the actors I felt was Shanvi and she was brilliant here. She did not have much dialogues to play with but she had to show her displeasure through her expressions. And she does that wonderfully well here. And uh, this was an outstanding performance by Shanvi. And I really wish to watch more of her in the future. So overall, Maha Mahavir Yar is one of the most zany, absurd and unique courtroom dramas you know, of all times. And uh, it comes with my highest recommendation. Once again, thank you to my two subscribers for recommending me this film. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the film. I'm sure many of you may have already watched the film during its theatrical release. So let me know your thoughts on what did you think, any points which I may have missed out. This is a film that would love. I would love to discuss it in the comment section. So leave a comment and let me know what did you think of it. Also, if there are any recommendations, throw me some. Uh, like the video, it helps to spread the YouTube algorithm and you know to spread it to new members. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, press that bell icon. It'll help you know when I come online with another review. If you'd like to read my full review of Mahavirya, then you know the link of which is in the description box below for my site Popcorn Reviews with a double S. Also follow me on different social media platforms like. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox. I do not end up making a video on everything that I watch, but I do write a lot. All details will be on my social media and on my site, Popcorn Reviews with a double S. Also, share the video with your friends and family and ask them to share it further. That's how we'll grow as a community. So, do that and I'm going to see you again probably tomorrow. I'll keep the film under wraps. It's a surprise. So, then see you again tomorrow and thank you for your love and support. Thank you very much.